Now just a quick video to show you how to basically turn off the uh, uh, airbag light. So down there you see we've got the airbag light on. This is an E46 320 diesel. Uh, now I've already reset this once before. Uh, I've noticed that it, it comes on when I move the seat. So there's also something underneath the seat. There's a connector under there for the uh, pretensioner and the seat belt. Right, so it's probably that needs to be checked. Um, so I'm just going to show you now uh, basically how you check what the fault is and then once you've done that how you then reset the light. So I've already got the cable plugged into the uh, OBD port so down in the footwell uh, just see there is a, a 20 pin cable and then on the other end of that is a USB. So I'm going to plug that into the PC. So the cable came from a company called BMW Cables. Uh, you can get that from eBay, Amazon, all the usual places like that. Mine came from eBay. So if I plug the cable into the laptop, so the engine is already running, uh, you don't actually need to do, get the engine running but you do need to have the cable in and you do need to have the ignition on position 2 so it's basically all all the lights are on the dash and everything. I've just got the engine running because it's quite cold at the moment, it's 3 degrees outside, it's winter um, so I've just got the heater on. So with the cable in and the ignition on I can now open up uh, INPA. So you'll probably get a copy of this software along with the cable. Uh, I think the cable, including the software, maybe 15, 20 pounds, something like that off eBay. I can't remember, but if you have a quick look online, you'll soon find it. Uh, notice this is also running on Windows 7. That's also quite difficult to get it going, um, but if you follow the guides, literally uh, word for word, you, you will get it going. So now I can select uh, E46, so you see on there I've got uh, battery is ok, the ignition is on so it recognises that which is good. Uh, so for E46 I can press F3, it brings up this little dialog box here. So for this I now want to go to uh, body, and then within the body there I can double click on airbag. Versions do not match, so some malfunction is possible. That's okay, it pops up every now and again, uh, but I've never had any um, real problems. So on here now, uh, I can press F4 for error memory. And then I can read the error memory by pressing F1. So there we are, there's the, uh, there is the error. So we've got ignition circuit, belt tensioner, driver. So that is just as I was expecting, it's the driver's seat when I move it, uh, that's when the light comes on. So that is basically confirming the fact that there is something not quite right there. It says error not currently present, so this is obviously an intermittent fault. Uh, resistance too large, so I would imagine that's probably something to do with the actual connector. Uh, maybe I've had some people sat in the back and it's got knocked or something like that. So at this point uh, I would now go and check this cable, have a look at it. I'm not going to do it now because it's dark and it's cold and I can't be bothered. I'm just going to make this video just to show how I reset the light. Of course this isn't actually going to fix the problem, it's just going to turn the light off again until I next move the seat and it's probably most likely going to come back on. So I can now go uh, back. Uh, now I can go back to uh, error memory which was F4 and then I can press F2 uh, to clear the error memory. So I'm not going to press it just yet, but if I go to that little light over there, you can see it on there. So when I press F2, come to focus, 3, 2, 1. You see the light's gone off. Uh, it says on there, error memory has been cleared. Uh, so it's pretty much just as simple as that. Um, I don't know. Is it flashing? 
It's interesting, I haven't seen that. It's just a uh, read the error memory. So there it says no errors found. That is strange. I'm just going to uh, turn the ignition off. I'm back on again. Yeah, so the airbag light's gone off there now. Obviously just needed uh, a restart on the ignition. And that seems fine. Um, so I said this is probably something wrong with the uh, seat. There's probably a connector under it. So actually if I just move my seat backwards and forwards a little bit now, I'll just see whether it comes on all the way back. If I come all the way forwards, generally when my missus drives it, she brings the seat forward quite a bit. And I jump in. But no, well, it seems to have uh, seems to have fixed itself, which is the best kind of problem. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, yeah, just you know, comment below and uh, if you have any questions. I'm sure I can answer them. Um, just uh, have a look online for one of these cables. They're pretty good. Um, this is obviously for an E46, but it's the same with basically uh, everything. Um, I mean, out there, look, I've, that's my E39 and 5 parked outside. Uh, it's exactly the same uh, process for that. So, yeah, have fun.